just doesn't have the zing of Calavera Cafe, you know? Hey, look, Deadbeats. Hi, what's your name? Crazy. Lola? What are you doing here? This crowd doesn't go much for souvenir pictures, except maybe of Lennon. Shh! Manny, I'm on a stakeout! I'm gonna prove to Maximino once and for all that Olivia's no good for him. Still hung up on Max, eh? Take my advice, Angel. Forget about him. He's a gambling racketeer. <laughs> like you. Oh, that hurts, baby. Come on, sugar. How about a kiss for the road? Oh, ick. Don't let me down, Nick. You're a lawyer. You're not supposed to have feelings. I don't, but I know a good tart when I see one. Hey! If Maximino sees that, we're going to end up in matching terracotta pots. Don't be silly. He wouldn't hurt me. He loves me. Uh. Manny. At last we're alone. Tell me, how are the bourgeoisie? Fine. How's Max? Oh, Gramps, don't start. What are you doing with a snake like Nick? I'd lay it on you, Manny, but uh, I don't think you'd get it. Messing around with your boyfriend's lawyer is pretty dangerous. Oh, maybe I was wrong. You do get it. I'm a little worried about Lola. That's because she's doomed, Manny. She fell in love with Maximino. That's the one mistake I never made. You think Nick would hurt her? Only if he finds her, and take it from me. He's not good at finding things. Open mic night seems like a big hit. It always takes those timid souls a while to get up the nerve. Maybe it would help if you went up there and started things rolling. Oh, Manny, read poetry in my own club? That would be like this whole place was just a big temple set up to worship me. Oh, come. Okay. Alive, we, we slept. slept. Life's, Life's just, just some, some rapid, rapid eye movement. movement. In a warm, cozy bed. Buried, we wake. wake. The flesh dream is over, Daddy. Now, now that we're all crazy dead. dead. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. A little dark in here, don't you think? Dark and cold, like the hearts of men. Uh... You know, I'm thinking of buying this place. Really? I thought about buying yours for a while. But then I just decided to ask my boyfriend, Max, to buy it for me. You can have it. I'm leaving town. Manny, you sound so exciting all of a sudden. Why are you leaving town? Johnny Law, baby. You see, I'm a grifter. I'm bad news. Yeah, right. You're running after that ghost chick everyone says you're still so uptight about. Well, I have a poem I wrote just for you. Pay attention, because it's pretty short. Here it goes. Ah, 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 ah. Mm. <laughs> well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. This giant cat racetrack. How's a regular guy with three roulette tables supposed to compete with that?
meets Toto Santos, Rubacava's friendly scrimshaw artist. Hola, Toto. ¿Cómo estás? Not now, Manny. I'm in the middle of something with Naranja here. That's one old fridge. Looks like it hurts. Looks like it hurts. Reminds me, I forgot about my date with Inez. Hello, operator? Yeah, it's me, baby. How'd you know? Hey, don't say that, sweetheart. You know I meant to stop by and... I'm more happy about leaving town every minute. Strong stuff. That ought to kill the pain. Should, but it don't. I killed the pain, turn off my drill, stop working. How about that? No, no, no. I can take it. Bring it on, pops. I'll pop you, sailor boy. Just a dab will drop you. Hey, man, you didn't see me put the secret ingredient in these coffin shooters, did you? Relax. Olivia stole the recipe from me in the first place. Yeah. She steals from the rich and gives to me to pour. Sink is full of dirty hookah water. It's empty. Ah! Eh? 
Who is over there? Me a poco, but look, you broke it. Now it won't shut. Nemozogia, hold still. What are you? Dead? Ah, Kaifa, wake up. I don't work on drunks. Resek Chavargo. What kind of sailor are you? <clears throat> Can't handle bulls, huh? What you tell us gonna know? What engem at the name folks give is at me? To tell you I shan't ball on the watch. Well, let's go. Toto, I got your boy Naranya here. <laughs> Am I a here? Well, he sobered up. I send him to Limbo. Yeah. Yeah, you'll make it there by morning. Promise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what I told him. Let's see what you got on you, huh, sailor? Are you kidding me? Seaman Anselmo Naranja Ensign Third Class. Doesn't look like you'll I be showing up to work in the morning. I gave him the idea in first place. Ah, Tiger can't change his stripes. So, you still going? Well, Manny Calavera, you never come up here to see me anymore. Well, I thought you could use the company with everybody gone for the Day of the Dead. In that case, Manny, why don't you stick around until six? That's when I get off. A lot of paperwork. A lot of passengers. Everybody's back home but you and me. It's a metal detector. Oh, that explains why it never gets my hair dry. Busy night? Hardly. Everybody's gone home for the holiday already. This place is dead and I'm bored, Manny. Bored. What's the shuttle waiting for? Oh, they're just cleaning it, but they're very thorough. We run a tight ship here, you know. Can I try out your metal detector? What's your sudden interest in metal detectors, Manny? I'm just a collector. Well, I'll show it to you when I'm on break. How's that? When's your break? Dawn. Oh, that's too late. I'm shipping out tonight. Yeah, right. I've fallen for that line too many times. I think it's time for your break. We could slip in the back for a little drink. You can tell me all about your job, the danger, the metal detectors. That back room's all business, Manny. And so am I. What kind of business goes on back there, Carla? Strip searches. Hmm, and you don't qualify. Why don't I qualify for a strip search? Manny, I agree it would help pass the time, but we have procedures and rules here. And you never know when they're watching. I can only strip search people when a regular search turns up nothing. Hey, it's worth a try. Ooh, I love this part. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. You're clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. Well, maybe just a sip. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk.
You sure you're not packing anything else? Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. Rules are rules. And of course, with my dad being in the military, we moved around a lot. Mm -hmm. I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? Yeah, the only industry in the area was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. That's interesting. I myself never really cared for figs. I always liked dates more. Or prunes. Actually, figs are a Don't you just favorite. love prunes? They have such a great mm, texture. Dates. They're all wrinkled up like my never grandma big Hedwig's fan of face. Oh, <laughs> poor Speaking grandma of metal Hedwig. Detectors. Did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? No way. Oh, okay. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. So the only industry in town was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere I you looked. I think you were just at the part about your metal detector. Are you sure you didn't just come back here for this metal detector? Actually, I did come back here just for your metal detector. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. If this is all you want, you can fight the cats for it. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only woman you care about is that Colomar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. When did you put in a floor safe? That's our new contained detonation chamber in case someone tries to come through here with a bomb. Since when does Rubicaba have a terrorism problem? This town's changing, Manny. It's getting tougher every day. Bye, Carla. Drop dead! Well, that's the hole I saw Carla's metal detector fall through. Oh, no. Stinky, but it could be worse. Late night at the morgue, isn't it, Membrillo? You know I can't sleep with John Doe's on the slab, Manny. If I don't ID these rose gardens tonight, I won't be ready for the two that come in tomorrow. And before you know it, I'm up to my ass in azaleas.
Are you sure you're looking hard enough? Look, Manuel, these old eyes are tired. I'm doing the best I can, but the average retirement age beachcomber has more sophisticated equipment than I've got here. Would a metal detector help the cause? Hey, just like downtown. You never know what this'll turn up. An engraved ring, a belt buckle with somebody's name on it. <laughs> Who would wear a belt buckle with the... Oh. Lasco, it looks like I've got one of your boys down here in the morgue. A sailor by the name of... Naranja. What? How? Sprouted? But... Ah, oh, this town's going to hell. Sailor can't even take a two-day shore leave without watching his back. Yeah, yeah, I'll come down in the morning. All day long, Manny, I sought through pure sadness. I find evidence, and I piece together stories. But none of my stories end well. They all end here, and the moral of every story is the same. We may have years, we may have hours, but sooner or later, we push up flowers. Don't seem too busy. Cold one, huh, Terry? Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the union? The union? <laughs> they don't look after us, little guys. They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. Hey, I run an honest joint. We ain't in bed with nobody. What about the protection money? We pay every week. On the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. See what I mean? This town is just a big conga line of hustlers, all laughing and dancing and scratching each other's backs. Why aren't you guys up there working? You don't know the deal down here on the docks, do you, Manny? If you want to get the jobs, you have to pay the unions extra dues. And that ain't cheap. We don't pay, and so they put us on barrel duty. Why don't you just pay the union off, then? We got our pride, Manny. We're straight stingers, you know? Not to mention we just don't have any cash to spare now that we're not working. I mean, it's like a problem where, uh, uh the solution it makes the problem, uh, worse. Like a catch-22? Yeah, wow. I wish I knew words like that. If the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. Did you hear that, guys? He thinks we should register a complaint. You bees are being exploited. You should do something about it. Yeah, what can we do? We're just a handful of unorganized drones. We don't know nothing about nothing except just how to take it on a chin. 
I think you're just a bunch of complainers. You don't know what it's like, man. Every day we come down here, we try and make an honest living. We find out that you gotta be a crooked bee to win down here. He knocks the pollen out of you, man. He makes you weak. Since you're not using your tools, think I could borrow them? Well, we sold them to feed our families. Then how are you ever gonna work? I, I told you things were messed up down here, Manny. I, I told you. If the cops own the union and gambling's in bed with the cops... Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but uh, Max Amino is really the big boy in town, obviously. But word is, he gets his orders from some hardcore gangsters in El Mero. Yeah, that fancy cat track is really just a big laundromat, if you get my drift. You guys know a seaman, Naranja? Nah, CBs and sailors don't mix. But you're in the same union. Well, maybe so, but some traditions are sacred there, Manny. You bees gotta be strong. Things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees, they do all the work. But we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way that things are produced should be controlled by... I mean, we should... Ah! Forget it. I'm just a dumb, hungry, out-of-work bee. Did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? Salvador Limones is a fairy tale, a spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you, Manuel Calavera? A great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. Would you cats mind if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. I think these are the words you're looking for. The workers shall control the means of production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploited working class? I say lay down your tools right now and show the man just who 
make so honey around here. These came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Betty! Get me a lawyer! Get me a lawyer! Hogan, that's gonna make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor. Offered for cargo stolen from shipyard receiving area, including a large suitcase bearing the initials HL. Hey, Terry, that was a beautiful speech out there. Yeah, maybe so, but it landed me in here. Don't worry, I'll get you the best lawyer in town. Okay, Manny, but quick, before the movement loses its buzz. <laughs> <laughs> 